right brain axis is, you know, is the hypothesis. It's still being tested. It was proposed uh, in part based on some studies by Brock and his colleagues suggesting that the synuclein aggregation that you see in some uh, subsets of uh, patients that were studied in uh, staining in the gut, um, that it may start in peripheral organs. And actually Vivian Labrie, um, who recently passed tragically, um, huge loss to the field, uh, also reported that there might be some staining in the appendix in synuclein um, uh, with cases. And so it's possible that in some cases, uh, the synuclein aggregation may start in peripheral organs and may potentially progress towards the central nervous system um, with the help of environmental exposures or maybe gut inflammation and inflammation in those organs. And so the idea is that if you have a gene environment or gene by immune interaction that promotes that, uh, you know, aggregation or misbehaving, if you will, um, of that protein, that it may be transferred from cell to cell in a way that it uh, moves from uh, one place to another. And that may be a way that you um, uh, promote the pathology um, from one place to another. And so this is the idea that has been proposed and is being tested. And this would be consistent, not necessarily proved, but it would be consistent with some of the gastrointestinal symptoms that people see decades before the motor symptoms in some patients. Um, also, uh, it would be consistent with the fact that the vagus nerve, which connects the gut to the brain, um, may be the conduit for this potential uh, toxic aggregated synuclein from the, the gut to the brain. And the fact that vagotomy in some studies suggests that it reduces the incidence um, of Parkinson's in people that have had vagotomy when they are uh, undergoing those for ulcer treatments. So it, it suggests overall, if you take it all together, that there might be an anatomical link between the gut and the brain that may serve as the conduit for that transport, if you will. And in animal models, it's being tested at the level of adding uh, aggregated synuclein in the gut and seeing if it's transported or transferred. And some studies show promising results from several labs. Um, it also suggests that the inflammatory process, maybe in gut infections or inflammatory bowel disease, disease may promote this. There's two small studies that suggest that people with inflammatory bowel disease have more incidence of Parkinson's. Um, this tends to be more prevalent in Ashkenazi Jews. And also that people that have inflammatory bowel disease and have been treated um, with anti-TNF uh, biologics have reduced incidence. So again, it's an association that implies that there might be some uh, uh, derived benefit from the anti-inflammatory treatment. But again, it really needs to be tested both at the level of the animal models and in the clinic.